my name is Lisa. Kevin. Hi, and Nishi. In this film, we will explore two media series views. First one is Marshall McLuhan Technological Determinism, and the second one is Raymond Williams Social Shape and Theory. We will apply these theories to our own qualitative research to determine if one theory is more relevant than the other in understanding how different generations use social media. We want to know if the people of different ages have a preferences for using Instagram or Facebook. We also want to understand if people's interpersonal relationships are affected by their social media usage. This may help us to understand whether or not the medium is truly is the message. Or if culture is the primary driving force that shapes how people use social media. Instagram. Facebook. Instagram. Um, Instagram. I am a little bit fatigued by other kinds of social media. Instagram is kind of this new clean slate. I don't check Facebook every day and I'm not really active. I prefer to talk in person to people. It kind of allows you to follow an extreme array of people. It's also very like open. You get to really live through other people's pictures. It's a lot more, um, you can kind of select what you want to put on there specifically. It's more artistic, you can kind of select what it shows up like. It's not a very intergenerational kind of social media. I don't know everybody on that platform, and that's kind of why I like it. My parents don't know how to use a computer, so they don't use social media at all. We just communicate by email and WhatsApp. Thankfully not, except for Facebook. My parents don't really use social media. I think that the way that I present to my parents in person is a little bit more serious, and uh, with a little bit less irony and and sardonic humor that they would see in social media. I don't talk to my parents on social media because they don't know how to use it. It is different. Um, I mostly talk to them on the phone or we just send each other messages. I think in person our conversations are a lot more formal and parent-child type conversations while over Facebook it's a lot more casual. The interaction on Instagram is a lot more different because Instagram is a lot more private. It's kind of your own space. I don't really have my parents on the same social media platforms that I do, so I don't actually interact with them online very often, so I would say very different. I talk to them more like in person, like hard for them how to learn to use computers too. In summary, it appears both McLuhan and Williams' theory are both applicable in our research. Generally, different generations use social media in different ways. Mature generations may be less likely to use social media or have specific reasons to choose to participate. The younger generation may prefer Instagram, while older generation may prefer Facebook. This suggests that social factors shape how people use social media. However, the story doesn't end there. Some participants' relationships were greatly affected by social media, however, others were not. In other words, both social media platforms appeared to influence how people interact with their friends and family. In this case, it appears that technology influenced our interactions with each other. So you could say that William's social shaping theory and McLuhan's theory of technological determinism are applicable in different ways. So in conclusion... We learned a lot. Facebook is a more formal platform where people can interact with their families. While Instagram is a more free social media where people can be themselves.